Today, the 15th, is National Remembrance Day. Tonight, Cap KV's Ellie Nakamoto White is live in Richland at an event honoring babies. And Ellie, this impacts a lot of people. Good evening, Alyssa. Yes, I'm here at events at Sunset in Richland, where the fourth annual Gone Too Soon Remembrance Ceremony is being held. Now, if I step out of the way, you can see the ceremony going on behind me. It started at four, and there's dozens of women and families here from all over the region. Now, earlier today, I spoke with one mother who turned to music to help her grieve. It started out a song made purely with love. Suddenly, something changed in me. It's a tribute to Noah Michael and Shiloh, the two infants the Bryans tragically lost. While the baby was inside, it, it only knew love. It, it was like sat below our heart. It could feel my heartbeat and feel the excitement that we had for him. And that's all his life was, was just pure love. She's just one of many mothers experiencing loss, as this affects one out of every four women. People are not used to talking to someone who's had a pregnancy loss. They're afraid to say the wrong thing, and so they often don't say anything at all which isolates the family. That's why labor and delivery nurse Aggie Mori helps run the support program Gone Too Soon. By us creating events like today, there is a, a venue to tell the story, to look around and say, I'm not alone. This support group has been one of the life-saving things for me. You don't have to know anybody to show up and it feels like home. Kalina's currently the mother of 16-month-old Lucas, and she's expecting another next month. These children are a special part of our lives, and it's really nice to be able to share their, their short lives, even though you never maybe got to meet them in person or anything, but being able to have their memory live on is, is something really special. The event here is starting to wrap up. Now what's happening here is that every participant was given either a green or a white balloon or multiple balloons, and they were told to write down the name of the baby or babies that they lost or just decorate the balloon however they wanted to remember who they lost. And right now, a speaker is reading out the names of every child who is lost, and they're releasing the balloons up into the sky for a special ceremony. Live in Richland, Ellie Nakamoto-White, Cap Cave View, Local News.